Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thanks for checking out the channel. I'm Ham Radio Dude. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about a couple of the new features that are available now with the Shagu X6100 firmware as of December 29th, 2021. Uh, let's take a look at them, the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth functionality, and see if they work and how they work. And as you can see on our system settings, we now do have a few extra screens. One is WLAN or Wi-Fi, and one's Bluetooth. I'm going to start with Wi-Fi. I'm just going to roll over there and I'm gonna select it. And what happens here is, is we have these options, W switch and auto connect. For example, now that we're on W or Wi-Fi switch, we're just gonna hit edit and that enables it. Now that it's saying, please wait, it's scanning the Wi-Fi to see what networks are available. And as a reminder, this is only gonna do 2.4 gigahertz. So right now it does show me uh, quite a few different networks available. I gotta scroll down to my network and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click at this point on config and what's going to happen is it's going to drop down auto connect which is great and i'm going to hit config one more time and i actually want to select dhcp because i don't want to statically assign an ip address to my radio some people will want to do that though so i'm just going to hit edit here and it enables dhcp so it should pull an ip address later and then let me put in my password Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. I had enabled the DHCP, put in my password, and then made sure DHCP was enabled, and then I clicked connect. It says it's connected, but it disabled DHCP and is showing those as the IP address. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. We're gonna click exit, and I don't really know of a way to check here. On my computer, there's no way I would have that IP address is what I'm trying to say because my router distributes a different range of IP addresses. So this might be a problem. Uh, I'm gonna try to set it up again one more time here. I have DHCP disabled again and I wanna make this note that I don't know that DHCP is working. If I go back to config, 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 config and I hit DHCP and at this point I hit edit to make it connect, it should show DHCP enabled. And what that means is it should get an IP address from uh, from my router. You know, it's not hard setting an IP address. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click connect now. And when it goes to connect, you're gonna see what happens here. Well, the good news is, is it shows connected, but it does, it disabled DHCP and it shows the IP address of something my, my router can't give. So it looks like the first, thing is, is the, for me at least, the, the Wi-Fi is not able to be activated unless you hard set the IP address. Let me go ahead and do that now. I'll be right back. And again, uh, 192.168.1.1 for the default gateway. And I should now at this point in theory, be able to, well, we'll try to disconnect it. And when I disconnect it, we'll see what happens and then we'll reconnect. Okay, there it is again. The gateway goes to 3.1. So I'm having this issue. I don't know if you are or not, but let me know. Actually, I jumped into command prompt just to check out a couple of things. And sure enough, here we are. And we're pinging that IP address dot 21. And even though the gateway is wrong, it is still giving me uh, responses. So that, that seems like a good sign. Except there's some packet loss here, which uh, I'm going to monitor this. In fact, I'm going to let this run the rest of the episode, and we'll we'll see at the end how much packet loss there is. Next up is going to be Bluetooth, and I, I'm having a little bit of problems with this one too. But if I click on Bluetooth here, and then I, I select here, uh, it says, please wait. And Bluetooth is on or enabled, as we could see here. So right now, it should show me a list of Bluetooth options available uh, I currently have my computer enabled as well as my phone being enabled with Bluetooth. And we can confirm that just by taking a look right here and seeing that cool little Bluetooth icon is enabled. So I don't know exactly why it's not showing any Bluetooth, but the radioactivity instructions say, turn on the Bluetooth function, connect or disconnect the selected Bluetooth device on the left and exit the interface. But there's no Bluetooth options, so... Yeah, I don't know. Let me try through Windows here. Okay, I did not get Bluetooth to work. And so what I'm doing now is I'm just rebooting this device as a precaution, and I'm going to try to get Bluetooth to work again. For reference, I have multiple objects here in the vicinity with Bluetooth enabled to include my desktop, my phone, and a Bluetooth headset as well. 
So here we are all of a sudden, we still get this error where it says 0, 0.0 volts. If you guys get that, just hit this right here and it should re-enable. So there it says 12 volts. So that's a good thing right now. Let's go ahead and go back to system settings, scroll over to Bluetooth. And I'm just gonna explain here, it says, please wait, it shows Bluetooth enabled. And as per the Radiotity website, we should get a list of Bluetooth uh, available networks over here. So I don't think Bluetooth's working. But let me know if you guys have had any luck with it because I'm kind of at a stall here. And again, I've read the Radiotity instructions. I'll, I'll link them below for you. Okay, and you know, I went through earlier and I, I tried to enable Bluetooth and, uh, and it didn't seem to work correctly. You know, other things seem to be working with some issues, of course. But I'm going to go ahead and one more time just try Bluetooth. I've rebooted the radio a couple of times. And who knows, right? So again, here we are, and it's scanning Bluetooth. I have multiple Bluetooth objects in the area enabled that should be able to connect to this. Uh, and again, I don't see any Bluetooth here. So I'm going to say Bluetooth is a no-go. Uh, let me know if you have had any issues with this as well. And I guess the only other final thing to do real quick here is to just kind of take a look and see how our, our ping response is done or how our Wi-Fi is looking here. So when we fade over here, the Wi-Fi is still connected, and it, we're at about a 1% loss. Uh, those 30 packets we we lost, now you might consider that some of them were during the time of a reboot or something along those lines, right? So I'm not quite worried about it, plus a 1% loss I would consider within within reason. So the, the Wi-Fi appears to be working, although it doesn't seem like there's much we could do on the radio with the Wi-Fi. I want to wrap this up here with a couple of final thoughts. And my first thought about the Wi-Fi is... Maybe the DHCP was working. It showed it was connected. And I just didn't check my router to see if I was assigned an IP address. And maybe the IP address that was showing in WLAN was actually just kind of like a, a programming error where it showed 3.21 or 3.1 or whatever it was. Uh, so I would, if I was you, enable DHCP and try to see if that works for you. Let me know in the comments below. But really the question with Wi-Fi is why. I mean... We're going to we're gonna talk about why. Uh, the only thing currently on the radio, without rooting your radio, of course, and hacking your radio, the only thing you could change would technically be the time setting. And if we go into the time setting, you could see here that the NTP update, you can't even change it. I mean, you can't, you can't select it, so, you know, it's not going to update the NTP automatically. So what is the point of this update? I mean, why, why even enable Wi-Fi if it's not going to work? And I feel the same way about Bluetooth as well. Um, I surely, maybe I am the only one who has this Bluetooth issue, but I surely feel like there's going to be a lot of people who also see no Bluetooth devices available here. I want to know in the comments below if you're also having issues with the Bluetooth and uh, was this a useless firmware update? And if so, Zaiku, Shegu, why? I mean, <laughs> you, we'd rather see a product where you actually worked on the firmware update and the firmware update was functional to some degree or had some kind of use. Um, and maybe if you guys can't get this to work, concentrate your efforts on other things like the noise reduction, which still isn't fixed. Uh, but those are just my, my opinions on the fact of the matter. And I want to know below if you have had any issues with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth since this new update. Thanks a lot for checking out the channel. I'm Ham Radio Dude 73